Hello, hello everyone. So, I'm finally back because I was I got tired from work. Too tired. It it took me a few months to get used to work and not get tired at the end of the week. You know, it takes a while. Plus I I work on the weekends sometimes too. So like, oh, so tired. Oh, don't know what to do. Anyway, we are playing here for sweethearts as there is a new there are two new people to meet. I am excited. Um yeah, let's uh start. Ooh ooh Oh my god It's a it's a I, I don't know what this is. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what I, I I wanted to describe it as but oh my god I just noticed he looks so cute! Oh my god! Ugh. My heart! Ugh. Jackster, huh? You look pretty fine! You look pretty fly! I like your tie. We, we match. We match. Uh, and Zapara. Oh, I, I clicked on it without thinking. References to addiction. Alright. And just like that, the weekend is almost done. still have tomorrow, of course, but it's amazing how fast time escapes you. During the weekend, that is. Somehow, 40 minutes of class time takes 5 years, yet let's who else the weekend are gone in 5 minutes. It's already dark out now, and the buildings are shutting off the lights accordingly. It's hard to see them in the dark, but you can make out a faint shadows of students in the distance as they head towards the dom dorms. It's almost time for curfew, and no one wants to be caught out late. Especially so close to the dance. No one dares risk getting in trouble before the event. You stretch yourself out as you begin to head towards the dorms yourself. You reflect on today and all you did. You hung out with Mitzi and Oli for a while in the morning and then attempted to invite Twyla to join you for lunch. She did not accept your invitation, much to your frustration. You're not sure how you're gonna get her to like you at this rate. But maybe after you've collected more evidence with her, her shell will begin to crack a bit. That is what you're hoping anyways. You haven't gotten to meet out with Gunther yet though. And you really should, as it's an important to you ask him about... Hmm? As you're walking towards the dorms, you spot two other students walking in the opposite direction. They aren't walking towards you, but you can't help but wonder if they're going where they're going so late at night and so close to curfew. As they approach closer, you are able to get a better look at who they are. Theo? Croven? Oh my god, these troublemakers. Look at their smiles! Look at their smiles! <laughs> I love troublemakers. They're so entertaining to watch, to be honest. Oh, hey I. You ask them where they're going. It's dark out and it's almost curfew. We're gonna visit, go visit a friend. Oh, which friend? Wouldn't they be back by in, at the dorms by now anyways? <laughs> she doesn't go here. Huh? She lives in the city. We're going out to meet her. Wait, what? Huh? How? The buses that come in town have stopped coming by now. How do they plan to get there and get back? Not to mention if they're caught, they're surely gonna get in trouble. Nah, I'm not worried about the buses. My dad's got his whole deal going with a taxi service in the city. I can get a ride whenever I want. It's rich kid, rich kid, oh no, it's a rich kid, rich kid problems. Well, rich crib solutions, I guess. No, no problems, only solutions. Say, sweet thing, wanna come with us and meet her? She's really fun. You'd like her. Hmm. Sure, we won't get in trouble. Sure, we won't get in trouble. No guarantees, but she's worth it. Well, surely she must be to risk the trouble to begin with. How sweet of them. You absolutely want to come along. You can never pass out a chance to meet a new friend. Yeah, come on. There's mo the more the merrier, right? You continued on with Theo and Coven away from the school. It feels weird to be doing so so late at night, but it's exciting too. What's being a teenager without being a, without a little mischief after all? 
you're at the roadside with and before you know it, there's a taxi waiting to pick you up. Proven hops in the back seat from one end while Theo holds the door open for you to climb in the other. You sit sandwiched between the two of them, though it is not a terribly com uncomfortable ride. Proven seems to be yakking out it up with Oh my god. With the driver, whereas Theo is content to just look out the windows as the scenery outside changes. I relate to Theo. Yeah, Theo, my man. You and me, we gonna get along. The closer you get to the city, the lighter things become. The driver doesn't take terribly long either. Though the car does not stop as deep into the city as you were expecting. It brings you just close enough to some buildings before Coven and Theo start exiting the vehicle and you follow suit. You all thank the driver as you leave. Coven instructs him to return in an hour. The driver nods, then heads off. You follow Coven and Theo as you confidently lead you down a path near the city. Once you get to the end, you see... It's a park with a playground. Oh, a new scenery. It looks much different than the actual school. Yeah, it looks more realistic, I guess. For example, the trees. There are more lines and random lines. Just like real life, you see random lines. When I see the trees, they look a bit uh, out of place, you know. A bit. Just a bit. I wish there were more to this playground. It looks like the playground only has this. I don't even know what this is. I've seen it. I've seen it in playgrounds before, but I never knew what they're for. Like, what is it supposed to be? Something for climbing? What? So boring. You can put slide, you can put swing, and you put this thing. It looks ugly. I can climb at home. I can climb the door. Why would I go outside to climb things? I can climb in the house already. Yeesh. Plus, a slide. You can climb the slide. Swings, you can climb the swing. This one? It's just for climbing. It's a, it, no purpose. It only has one purpose. Ugh. What? What for? Ugh. Oh my goodness. It's not deep within the city, but you can see the city clearly from it. The city is still bright and vibrant at this time of night, but the park you're currently in feels mysteriously spooky and dark. Perhaps it's unnerving atmospheres brought down by the fact that you can hear cars and commotion of the city from here. You look around for Coven's and Theo's friends. Surely she must be here, or at least on her way? Before you can ask properly though, Coven whistles. He whistles across the park, a kind of whistle one would make as if calling a dog over. You have no idea why he would do that until a very canine-esque girl responds properly to it. She rushes over to you with desperation, almost scary. Had you not known any better, you'd say she looked like she was running on all fours. She dives and ducks between playground equipment until she's finally in front of you all. But damn, she looks pretty. She looks pretty with her purple hair. Lilac? No. Is that lilac or lavender? Not sure. I don't know what the difference is. She looks rad, man. I love her design. There you guys are! I was wondering when the hell you two were gonna get here. She smiles brightly at Coven and Theo, but the smile drops when she's looking at you. Who are you? Oh, you explained to her their name is I. Sure. As I'm sure you can guess, this is Tapara. Feistiest girl on the block. Yeah, and don't you forget it. So... How do you meet the guys? <laughs> Does it matter? Oh my god, <laughs> the face! Why is that I got face? <laughs> what the hell? They came by the city. I live here. Not really a big shocker. But I suppose you would ask that, wouldn't you? Sorry, I don't know your Namby Pamby Princess Go. We aren't all born under a lucky star. We apologize, you didn't mean to offend her. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Zap's a bit of a fireball. Don't take it too personal. Yeah, I'm just messing with you. You know how to take jokes, don't you? Yes, of course you do. Good, or else we're gonna have a real problem on our hands. Yeah, yeah, greetings all the way, whatever. How things at the palace? Aw oh, man, it's great. I'm, 
I'm still top on the Leroy 3 weeks and counting. Persia, you've got those fast hands. Everyone knows they don't stand a chance against you. What are they talking about? Why couldn't they stand a chance? Uh, because I'm the best there is. Do you doubt it? I bet you don't even know what we're talking about. Heh. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't know about this, I. The pizzeria place is a, pa a pizza paste on this in the city. Or the pizzeria palace is a pizza paste on the city. A few months ago, they got a, a fi they finally got in a new arcade machine. Galaxia. Galaxia. That old classic space shooter. Zap's been at it for a while and so has gotten a pretty high score. So far, no one can beat her. Yeah, and I get a free pizza slice every weekend as long as my name's at the top. Jealous yet? Totally jealous. Ha! I knew you'd be. Takes a lot of skill to be the best alien slayer in the universe. You can only imagine. Uh, anyways, did you get the stuff? <laughs> you know it. Hold on, let me go get it. Zapata scurries back to the playground equipment. It appears as though she's hidden something in the bushes nearby. She, while she fetches it, you ask the other two. Why are you guys always up to something shady? That's the way we roll, baby! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I... Maybe I like Crowbin a bit too much. <laughs> That's the way we roll. <laughs> You'll love it. It's gonna be great. Zabara hurries back into the scene carrying a brown paper bag that looks quite full. Phew. Was almost scared I'd lost the beast for a sec. That would've sucked. I'd be out of a buttload of money. Doesn't matter. It's Crowbin's money anyways. Hey, cool it. I can't be asking Pops for too much money at one time now, yeah? So, what is it? <laughs> they begin to crowd around the bag and you follow suit. You take a curious glance and you see... Are those fireworks? Are we setting them off right now? Duh, are we setting them off right now? I don't know, dumbass. You tell me. Take a seat and relax, sweet thing. We'll finish getting all this set up. Mm. Is this really okay? It's just, well, if you think about it, setting off fireworks here, it's sure to attract some unwanted attention. If someone like the authorities come to comprehend you, best case scenario is that you dropped off at school with a slap on the wrist. And the worst case, well, you really don't want to be calling that from the police station. Who knows what will happen out to you after that? You really don't want to jeopardize position at school anymore, but everyone seems excited about it. Aww, they really care about not calling their dad. I mean, sure, but it'll be fun. Fireworks are fun. I mean, whenever I set off fireworks, it isn't in Singapore, that's for sure. Do you need any help? Whoa, -ho, look at you, stepping up to the plate. That a pal. Don't let old Mistress Azzy intimidate you and stop you from having fun every now and again. Pick up some fireworks in the bag and get to arranging them with everyone else. In this surprise, they all begin to wag a bit as you, do, as you all do so. She seems very happy and her smile is genuine and sweet. Eventually, you get everything laid out. Still turns to Zapara and passes her long tip lighter. Ready to light it up? Zapara watches with the lighter and grabs it. She holds it, she fumbles a bit awkwardly in her hands. She keeps staring at it. Need a hand? Uh. You grab Zapara's hand and help her hold the lighter correctly. She eases into your touch as you hold the lighters together and your hand wrapped around hers. And together you light the fireworks and hardly step back as you wait for them to go off. A magical display of light puts the sky and the pipe as the fireworks sound off. Look at the faces of your friends. 
still clearly enjoying the display and its sight was taken. Trying to speak over the fireworks, she asked them if there was any special occasion for this. It seems really extravagant. After all, not most to mention costly. Well, uh, it's... Ah, fuck it. It's six... I'm six months clean today. The words reverberate in your head. Clean? That could mean a lot of things. And all things you're not sure is appropriate to bring right now. Regardless of when it may be, being clean is a wonderful thing. You congratulate her on our accomplishment. She smiles warmly in response. Eventually, all their fireworks began to sizzle out. It was a dazzling show, but one that couldn't last forever. It turned back to the others from Kovan says, Hey, my driver should be back any minute. Come on, Zap, we have the air mattress ready for you and everything. Wait, Zapara's coming too? Yeah, I'm gonna have to go sleep over until the dance. I wanted to go with all you guys, and it seems like the funniest way to do it. We're keeping this party going as long as it can go. Oh, there's our ride. Let's go. You move to follow them when I, Zapara talked in your sleeve. I hope you know I was just joshing you back there. I, uh, I can get a little in my own head sometimes. I hope I didn't make you feel too bad, cause, um, you're cooler than I thought you'd be. So, uh, you're one of my friends now, whether you like it or not. And I've got tips on sitting next to you in the car. You can't help but giggle. You tell her there's no need to worry. You like it. Wow, I did it first try! <laughs> Me and Zappa are pals, man. We are meant to be. Meant to be. Cutie! The ride back to school feels shorter than you expected. Everyone's all smiles and giggles as they hop out the car and towards the courtyard. The night is warm and beautiful and you felt as though you could lay in the grass with them and laugh all night. Head exhaustion not begin to settle on you after your little midnight excursion. You figured you'd walk back with the gang to their dorm room and then head back to yours when... Hey! You all! Everyone quickly runs off and you... Stand your ground. Too tight to run, knowing you're already caught, you unfortunately turn to the source of noise and run as he runs up to you. It's a bit hard to see him in the dark, but you can paint out a clear enough picture of him. His hair is too toned and a bit messy. He's wearing a short sleeved shirt and holding a clipboard in his white knuckled hands. Much like Zapara, he's got fluffy ears and a matching tail, but you get the feeling that two of, the, of them aren't quite comparable. This expression is one of X's inspiration, though it's not the first time you've seen this at school. Just what do you think you're doing out at this hour? He nearly shouts at you and so quickly after catching his breath. It's way past curfew! I fell asleep on the grass. Ha! <laughs> yeah, right. I just saw you coming from the road. Don't try to lie at me. You're breaking school rules. Here's this guy who the hell he is, anyway. I'm Jaxter. I'm a hall monitor. Really? You didn't know what they did right that there? Uh, it's a bit surprising that you ha uh, that job belongs to a student. Yeah, well it does. And you're in big trouble. Mm -hmm. What? W what's that look for? Well, do you know that you can trust him? Well, how do you know you can trust him? You were never told about how Monitor is when you first came here, and he's the first one you met. He doesn't even have a cool sash or anything, so what gives? Okay, um, good point. Good point on your part. Wait a minute. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> He's so precious. I've got a special ID card to prove I'm legit. In that case, can he show you this card? Y yeah, I've got it right here. Hold on. The student turns around and check himself to check which pocket he's placed it in, and you walk away. Normally, we shouldn't pass an opportunity to make a friend like this, but hey, he's trying to get you in trouble. You can't risk trouble when you come so far. It just ruin everything. Maybe even prevent you from getting the dance. It's fine. It's all over now. And all you have to do is get back to... What? Hey! Get back here! Well, there goes your plan. You rush quickly to the dorm room. You can hear the swift brush of his shoes against the grass, which soon turns to sharp crack as you approach on the sidewalk to your dorm. You're not sure how far, far he is from behind you, but you aren't gonna turn around to check. Just a bit further. And you're back at your dorm. Close the door. You slam the door shut behind you. 
Yeah, Jax just slammed against it on the other side as if he had run into it. Did you first? Oh my god, he slammed right into it! Oh no! You forced all your weight against the door as you tried to hold it shut. You can hear him banging on the other side, begging to be let in. You do not let him in. Eventually, the knocking stops. You hear soft footsteps back within your door and continue down the sidewalk. You hesitate taking your way off the door. Is he really gone? You open the door to check. Sure enough, no one is there. The only sound to hurt now is the chirping of insects somewhere deep in the glass outside your door. You sign and you're ready to put this all behind you when you touch the side of something below you. A note on the floor. Did you slip on your doorway and you didn't notice? You pick it up and give it a careful glance. It reads, this storm number will be reported to the main office with a description of your offenses. A meeting with a hidden sister. That's not good. Seems like you were screwed either way. But what else are you supposed to do? Okay. So I guess we're supposed to lock the... Lock the door? Aha! <laughs> you thought you could run from me? I, I have you now. Running from the hall monitor is also breaking the rules. With Jack in your dorm, you slam your door behind where both and lock it. You stand in front of it defensively. What 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 are you doing? You inform Jack but that by staying in your dorm past care of you, he is also breaking the rules. Excuse me? What the hell are you doing? You kidnapper! Kidnapper! His face is red with anger as his voice reeks of hot white fury. And then something else snaps in that expression off his face. Panic. Oh man, oh man, Gosh, but then Licks 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 It's gonna kill me. I can't be breaking the rules. I I you Ah oh, it's back. Let me out right now Well, sure you can do that. But if he promises you won't get into trouble. What? You promise you will let him out if he doesn't tattle on you. Because if he tattles on you, then you're gonna tattle on him. That's ass nine. There's no way I'm doing that. Alright, then there's no way he's leaving your door. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Even if you hold me all night, you're gonna have to let me out at some point. Hmm? Do you? Ugh, what's your problem? Well, he is, currently. Fine, I can wait out as long as you can. And once I'm out of here, you'll have a day without detention. You will never have a day without detention. I guess you'll have to see about that. Jackson talks over the corner of your room. Something about him must be too frightful to use any of your furniture because he opts to sit down on the floor or close to the desk of your, or your bed. Looks like you think you've got a dormite after all. He's still sitting in the corner of the room, albeit looking a bit sleepier than before. But so are you. You check on your phone for the time. You don't remember what time it was when you get back, but it's certainly late now. 1.05 a.m. If you had school in the morning, this could have been disastrous. But it's the weekend, thank goodness. You can sleep all you want once this is over. Your stomach growls. Can't eat yet though. You hungrily gaze over at him. He's looking back at you, but not really looking at you per se. You can tell he's kinda just facing out in your general direction. His head is resting on his bald fist, which is resting on the forearm, which is resting on his elbow, which is resting on his knee as he sits crisscross from away from you. <laughs> this is one way to write. This is definitely one way to write. Which is, which is, which is, which is. <laughs> Not making fun of the writing though. Know? I, I, I like how they wrote it. It's just a bit funny. He's really quiet. Is he sleeping with his eyes open? Mimic. You mimic the position he's in just to see what will happen. If he's asleep, will he notice? Instead, he just gives you a quizzical look and shakes his head. What are you doing? You're just checking to see if he's asleep, that's all. No, I'm not asleep. I'm just annoyed. You ask him why that is. Uh, I'm pretty sure you know why that is. Ah, uh, right. Wanna see a magic trick? Uh uh. Oh yeah, you can do one? The tone in his voice was surprisingly snappish. Not that he hasn't been angry with you this entire time, but something about the way he sounds 
said that sounded especially biting. I think he didn't believe your abilities in the slightest. He didn't really answer in a way that implied he was waiting to see your attempt one, but nonetheless you attempted it. Push him the key in your hand with a quick motion. Poof, it's gone. He scoffs at you. It's in your sleeve. We can lose trick. Sorry, look, just... Can you just let me go already? I don't know what you're planning to accomplish with this. You're going to have to let me out sometime. I'm tired. Really, I just... I'm over it, okay? I just want to go back to my own dorm. You can just sleep on your bed. I... what? If he's tired, he can sleep on your bed. I... that's not the issue. The issue is that I want to be my own dorm away from you. Can not just accept your punishment? It's going to happen sooner or later, so I might as well just rip off the bandage off now. You apologize for the situation you've, both, you've trapped them both in, but you can't get in trouble. Not right now. You can't? Why not? Because the dance is coming up. You don't want to risk getting in trouble before, before the dance. You think something is going to happen? You think we won't let, let you go? Look, whatever stupid punishment you will get won't stop me from going. You wouldn't be here for nothing. But can he promise you that? Is that where yeah, it really won't stop you from going? Yes, oh my god, I promise, jeez. Why do you even care so much? I don't want to get in trouble anymore. A repeat offender, eh? You make me sick. You can't tell if that was meant to be a joke or not. Whatever, I don't care. Can I go now? You let out a slight sigh, support so IG again. Mm. Why do you care so much? Why do I care? About what? About getting you in trouble. You can't imagine most high school students are dedicated to being a hall mother as he is. Most kids would have left it alone if you were in his position. They wouldn't have chased you or anything after you ran off. And yet he still chased you down and refused to let it go. Why does he care so much? Does it really make that much of a difference to him if you got away? Of course it doesn't. It's just because... You know what? Yeah, it does. It does make a difference to me. Really? I have a lot of responsibility on my shoulder. Especially after... You know, I have a job and I want to do it well. And the people around me want me to do it well too. They're counting on me. I don't want to disappoint any of them. If I let you go, even if no one knew, I'd be disappointing them. And myself. When you have a job, you commit to it. Commitment! I commit to it. COMMITMENT! And I'm doing my best as it means not, not, it, it means not letting you go. COMMITMENT! You understand. Then he doesn't have to. If it's true what he said, then he, then he promises you can still go to the dance. Then you won't mind getting in trouble. Really? You'll take the punishment? You will. And this way you can both get what you want. Dexter watches as you move towards the door and unlocks it. You open it for him. Gee, uh, thanks. Though, so, this isn't entirely fair either. What does he mean? It's like you said earlier. I'm also technically breaking the rules. So, when I make my report, I'll make sure both our names are on it. Jeez, I was gonna make my report without even knowing your name. What is it? You find your name is I. Well then, I. I'll see you at the dance. But first, I'll see you in the kitchen. So sweet! Hello! Hello! But they can't can't beat Crowman though. Can't beat Crowman. <laughs> we didn't get much lore, but we got to know more people. Good looking characters. Mighty fine personality. Where can I find these people in real life? Excuse me. Bring one to me so I can be friends with them. So yeah, that was here for sweethearts. The latest chapter is fun. I enjoyed it. I think that's all. Thank you for watching and have a good day!